Hello, this is a Castle Quick Tip. Uh, today I want to show you how to set up Governor Mode using Set RPM Mode. I'm going to default the controller so we can start from scratch. Okay, our vehicle today is going to be an Outrage 550 with the new 1907 uh, one wire. I'm going to go in and set it to Helicopter, Governor Mode, Set RPM. It's going to ask for some information. Um, six pole, uh, actually six sales. That's uh, battery information. It's 1400 kV, and the magnetic poles are eight. I go in to enter the gear ratio. It's 140 tooth main gear and a 12 tooth pinion. All right, that was pretty easy. All right, now what we're going to do is go in. I've decided that I'm going to use auto rotation mode so I'm going to turn that on and then I'm going to go down and I'm going to adjust uh, how quickly I want the head speed to come back I'll go down and make a custom value I'll usually start with a value of 10 I'm familiar with this model since I've flown it so I'm going to go and set this for 16 this is an adjustable value of 0 to 20 zero being the slowest and 20 being the fastest um, so that allows us to, to go in and set that up uh, where we want that um, I've got the governor gain here I always start with low if you go to your drop down menu you will see that it's uh, low is 15 medium is 25 and high is 35 uh, we also have the custom value um, which is you can adjust in between the settings or even go higher if you would like um, in this case I'll start with low okay and then I'll bring it up into a hover after I have everything set up I'll bring the model into a hover I'll check the tail I'll listen to it audibly um, if the tails not kicking uh, then I may be too low what I like to do is adjust the gain up until I get the the tail to kick uh, a little bit left or left and right uh, and then I back it off a little bit and then um, as you fly it you can kind of feel you know what you're looking for as far as how quickly the throttle responds um, you just kind of get a feel for it but uh, the quickest quickest way to do it uh, in this case uh, I fly it it feels pretty good and then uh, sits real nice and hover the tail steel I'll go up to medium gain um, in this case at medium it started to give me that little tail pulsation I could hear it audibly that it was uh, the gain was too high I ended up going back um, I like to go halfway between the two and in, in this case I went halfway back between 25 and 15 and got 20 and then I bumped it up until uh, uh, till I got I reached the highest point I could run it um, and then I actually ended up with a custom value of 22 for this model so I'm going to back that down to 22 okay um, we've already put our battery voltage in we put our gearing in um, I want to go in and set up my head speed um, you notice they all say too slow for proper governing these are not practical head speeds for the model so I'm going to put in something like 2000 and then I'm going to put in uh, 2100 and I want to put 2250 in and then we'll go back and uh, alright we, we read now it says for throttle inputs up to 50% as this is, is set RPM mode um, this box uh, for throttle inputs up to 50 I always recommend using 30 uh, for the throttle curve it'll correspond to this box the first one or the top one um, and then we look at the second box uh, or the middle box for throttle inputs 50 to 99 percent I like to use a value of 70 there um, just straight throttle uh, straight line throttle that'll give you a uh, it'll point directly at this box and then for throttle inputs above 99 percent I use a straight throttle of 100 percent for this one um, all that can be found in our uh, support forum and all you have to do is uh, uh, there's a PDF there you can download that read the instructions it'll walk you right through that um, 
2000. What I want to do is click the info box. Okay, that's 83.4%. Okay. In the set RPM mode, or governor mode period rather, you can run within the ranges of 70 to 95%. Okay. This is a, a range. There's some other factors that are in there like uh, overhead. This program will advise you of, of you know, where you're running within that range and it'll it'll help you stay within the parameters and give you a pretty good idea of where where you're going to be running you know how your setup will work this is going to have plenty of overhead um, for a lower head speed uh, you know I like to try to run somewhere around the 85 percent range um, you can run all the way down to 70 if you want to really exaggerate the head speed or if you're a contest flyer a lot of times that works out pretty good as well to uh, to drop down uh, to 70% for your lower head speed. Okay, um, 21, that puts us at 87.6%. And then 22.50 is putting us at 93.8% uh, throttle. So uh, we could bump that up a little bit and go on up to 95%. Uh, this is a 6S model. Um, so I, you know, I wanted to keep it down around the 93-94% range. Uh, that works pretty good for me. Okay, and the next thing is uh, that's that that gives us our three head speeds. I want to go to the next tab, which will be everything's grayed out. We don't use brake on the helicopter. Cutoffs. Um, I like to use auto lipo, three volts per cell. And I use a, a timer and I figure out how long I can fly and uh, with using the 80% rule and I stay within the uh, you know my flying style my setup and and it tells me exactly how long I can fly if I've got a setup that should be able to fly five minutes I'll usually go out for the first flight and fly it for three minutes and then see how much I you know how many milliamps I put back do the math on that and then I extend my flight line flight time as long as I can uh, also take into account, you know, on a windy day, I may cut my flight time by 30 seconds. Um, then I've got cutoff type, uh, actually uh, current limiting. Um, always run insensitive on helicopters. And then cutoff type, uh, I use soft cutoff. Uh, soft cutoff is going to go, uh, it's going to cut the power back, you know, around 50%. Uh, it's not going to fly the model, but it, you know, if you were to get into a cutoff situation there, what that's going to do is allow you to do a power on auto pretty much. Um, now the motor type, um, it's a new motor, um, 19 series, uh, 1907. So I know that I want to run low timing and that, uh, the direction you can change the direction if you've, uh, you know, you got everything made up on the model and, and the motor spinning in the wrong direction, you can change the direction here. Um, and then for new motors, I like to run uh, uh, 12 kilohertz PWM. And then, uh, let's see. You can run the power on beep enabled or, or disabled. I usually run it disabled. Um, it's a good feature. A lot of guys like it because if you uh, have the model sitting on the ground, you don't tell it anything uh, you know you're not giving it a throttle input uh, for 30 seconds it'll it'll beep every 30 seconds and say hey man I'm sitting over here I got the I got power on me so uh, we need to uh, uh, do something with that um, so the uh, BEC I'm using an external BEC the uh, Probec uh, on this model because it's uh, 550 blades as a rule of thumb, I like to use on a, anything larger than a 425 millimeter blade helicopter. I always use an external BEC. Um, that's uh, let's see. Then we get the logging tab. This is all preference here. You can uh, you can change your sample rate. You can even turn off the logger um, if you like. Um, okay, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's uh, quick tip of the day. Uh, thank you very much. I hope it was helpful.